So I think that um, in the relapse setting, using uh, FLT3 inhibitors as a single agent, potency is critical. Uh, the drugs that are potent are able to control the disease predictably, uh, particularly amongst patients who have not seen other FLT3 inhibitors um, and are not uh, resistant to the effects of FLT3 in, uh, inhibition. Um, Combined with chemotherapy, it's less clear that that's important. Um, we're all uh, rather excited about the Ratify study uh, that was released at ASH this past year, which showed that mitostorin, which was a first-generation FLT3 inhibitor, when added to standard induction and consolidation chemotherapy, improved survival, which has been a long-sought goal in AML clinical trials. For many, many years, there has been no agent added to that therapy that improves survival. And yet, if I look at the activity of that drug, it's a relatively low potency drug by comparison to, say, quizartinib, gilteritinib, or quinolinib, and it's also a much dirtier drug in terms of its kinase selectivity. Nonetheless, the data speak for themselves. Uh, we see that this drug uh, did improve survival in that context, and we're not sure whether it's because it's a different patient population being treated or just the effect of adding a FLT3 inhibitor to chemotherapy.